What's going on guys, it's Morgs and today we have episode 2 of the Sheffield Wednesday career mode on FIFA 16. Just a few things to cover before we get in, I know a lot of you guys wanted a face cam for this episode and I just want to say why there isn't one. First of all, I'm pretty ill, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I look like shit, I'm not dressed, I haven't done my hair, so hopefully the audio is enough for you just for this episode. Trust me, face cam will be coming soon, but I really do hope you understand as I really just don't feel well. So if you remember in the last episode we were trying to sign Charlie Austin at the moment the budget is 4.8 million so I think what we'll have to do is sell a few more players or sign someone else instead a few players have been um, suggested to me but the first thing we're gonna do for this episode is go into the first game of the season and we are gonna play it so I've gone with what I feel is the strongest side for this game as you can see Matthias, Forestieri, Sugu, Bannon, Lopez, Lee Falkwa, Latchman, Lees and Palmer. So we're going to crack into this game now. It is at home, I believe, to Middlesbrough. Is that right? Let me check. Yeah, at home to Middlesbrough, first game of the season. So it's going to be a good game. Middlesbrough are always a hard team to beat in the championship. They have a very good reputation, as you guys probably know. So I would be happy with a draw from this game, but we're going to push for the win, obviously, because three points is better than one. Matthias, Matthias has stolen it, go for the shot, oh he's hit the post, already we have hit the post and it was a deflected, not a deflected shot, the keeper powered it onto the post from Matthias' shot, unlucky to not be winning, oh brilliant play this, Bannon, what a brilliant ball out wide to Sugu, looks for Forestieri in the middle, he's put it in and the keeper catches it, oh my god, oh dear, Okay, so we are 1-0 down on the first game of the season. First of all, the shot was hit the post and deflected down, and it just fell to, who is it, who scored? Just fell to a Middlesbrough player to tap in. Not the best start for Wednesday, and it was Stuart Downing who got the goal. Could we respond early here? Could we respond early? We're in the box! Oh, we couldn't quite get the shot away. That was unlucky from us. Oh, it's a good little ball to Barry Bannon. Found himself in a little bit of space here. Can he do a bit of skill? Plays it wide to Fernando Forestieri. Good little turn. Cuts back in. Gonna go for the finesse and Forestieri scored! 1-1! One, one. And Forestieri's got the equaliser. An absolutely brilliant goal. He gets it on wide. Does a little fake shot. Cuts in. Another little fake shot. And a left foot finesse shot. What a brilliant goal from Forestieri. The first goal in our Sheffield Wednesday career mode from Forestieri to get the equaliser a minute before half time. What a brilliant goal. As you can see here is half time. There are the scores from the league. As you can see, Rotherham joined 1 1 with QPR. So that's a pretty good result for them at half time. But as you can see from our stats, we are 1 1 with Middlesbrough. And it hasn't been the worst game so far. But I am going to make a change. It's going to be Frances Camano on for Sugu. I did want to start Camano, but he did have a little injury problem. So I thought I'd wait till half time to bring him on. Okay, so it's the 77th minute in the game. We are going to bring on the one and only Kalichi Ayanachu. Obviously scored. Good pass in here. Ball finds itself out to Palmer. Plays it down the line. What a brilliant ball in behind. Plays the cross in. Ayanachu. Oh, unlucky. And there we go. The full time whistle is blown. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Middlesbrough 1. Not the best game ever, but honestly, I'm not too disappointed with the result. Here we have an offer from Birmingham City for Ati Nuiu. I'm going to up the price to 545 If they accept that, I'll be happy. Because as I mentioned in the last episode, we don't need Nuiu when we could be putting the money towards a bigger and better striker. Middlesbrough have actually matched the 440 grand for Glenn Leuven's. As you can see now, short gap in between the first league game and now a Capital One Cup game at Ipswich. We are at home, so I'm going to play this as Ipswich are a pretty good team, but I'm going to be making some changes to the starting lineup. And actually, that's about it. I don't want to be changing too much since we didn't play too bad against Middlesbrough, but I think this team is easily capable of a win at home to Ipswich. So here we go, Ipswich are going to be starting this game with the kickoff and we are underway. Hopefully we can get the win. So Ipswich are literally just passing it round the back. So I'm going to go attacking because I need to get some possession. I literally haven't barely had a touch yet. 
Forestieri, he's got a lot to do. Can he just squeeze past the players? Dinks it over, it's a good ball to Matthias. Cuts in, can he get the shot away? It's a shot, almost in there. We got the shot away, it was good work from Matthias, but he couldn't quite squeeze it in. We have a corner now, first corner of the series, whipped in. Oh, and it's cleared off the line. This is end to end, Matthias with a good chance here. House, that is a penalty, penalty, the first penalty of the series. It was an absolute terrible challenge from Christoph Berra. Probably one of the best defenders in the championship, but he's done an absolutely horrendous challenge there on Matthias. And it's going to be our first penalty, and it's going to be Matthias to take it. Let me just check, actually. Yeah, it's going to be Matthias to take it. Guys, I'm going right. Good goal! And Matthias gets us the lead in the 44th minute. Marco Matthias wins the penalty, then scores the penalty. 1-0, Sheffield Wednesday. And there we go. The half-time whistle has gone. And we are winning 1-0. There are a few of the scores from around the grounds. Oh, it's a good ball up. Forestier in some space, skips past his man, he's one on one, he's getting caught up, oh no, he didn't have enough energy, he definitely has to come off, as you can see he's in red energy, he has the pace to shrug off that man and go on there, but he just hasn't got enough energy after playing both the matches, we're going to have to make a substitution. The two substitutions have finally come on, it was actually Ian Achu and Lucas Zhao, but it's already the 90th minute so it won't really matter. And there we go guys, full time, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Ipswich nil in the Capital One Cup. A brilliant result for Wednesday. So, we have accepted an offer from Birmingham for 425k for Ati Nuiu. Okay guys, so final match for this episode is going to be away at Blackburn in the Football League Championship. So, I'm going to make one change and it's going to be Ian Achu at right wing. This is pretty controversial, but I just want to give him a game, see how he can do. So, Blackburn, of course, a side similar to Sheffield Wednesday, pushing for promotion. They have Jordan Rhodes, who is a fantastic player. Probably the best striker in the championship, so we do need to watch out for him. Oh, it's a good little back heel. Good ball through here. Forestieri is up by himself. Skills is mad, he's gonna go out wide here. There's options in the middle, so he might be looking for the cross. Puts the ball in, oh, he just couldn't make the connection. Bannon with another quality interception. Plays him through, good ball, Forestieri, can he score? Goal! I thought it went in. It was an unlucky from Forestieri, it was a great shot. It just went inches wide of the post. I genuinely thought it went in, it looked really promising. Cleachia and Achu. plays a good ball. Nice ball through, he's beat the offside trap, oh, it's a save from the keeper. How has he not scored that? That is unlucky from Forestieri. It was a great run and a great pass, but he just couldn't squeeze in the ball. Okay, and there we go, half time. As you can see, the game is nil-nil. There's some scores from around the grounds, but it's been a pretty boring half. We are going to make a change. We're going to bring on Lucas Zhao for Fernando Forestieri because Forestieri hasn't done too well this game. He hasn't finished his dinner. He hasn't finished those chances. It's just not what we want to see, really. And plus, I would like to give Lucas Zhao a chance as he we haven't played in too much this series and he has got bright potential for the future, just like Ayanachu. Oh, it's a great ball out wide from Zhao. Ayanachu might cut in here. Goes back out wide. Ayanachu! Oh, what a save! The keeper just cannot be beaten. What is going on here? Falls to Falqua. Falqua! Oh, what a save! This keeper must be taking some shit, man. He is just stopping everything. Time is ticking away, guys, and it's still nil-nil. Nil-nil wouldn't be a bad result, but I really do want to push for the win here. But we've intercepted. It's a good ball. Surely this is it. It's a good ball through to Lucas Zhao. Is he onside? Lucas Zhao is fucking offside. He scored the goal, but he's offside. That is so unlucky. For us. Oh dear. And there we go, guys. It ended nil-nil Sheffield Wednesday Blackburn. To be honest, I'm not too upset because the game could have ended literally 4-0. The keeper on their team was absolutely unbelievable, guys. So one last thing just before we end the episode, we are going to do a training session. Now, this was suggested to me by some of you guys, and I am actually going to do it right here today. So we are just going to add some players here, as you can see. So let's simulate, let's simulate all. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. What is going to happen? As you can see, there we go. We've got an A, a B, a D, a D, and an A. So there we go. Not too bad, guys. That is where we are going to end this episode. So let's recap. We had a 1-1, we had a 1-0 and a 0-0. So it is obvious we are lacking a bit of creativity and a bit of 
finishing power up front. So we are obviously looking to sign a striker. So don't judge us off this episode because we are looking to sign a big striker who will win us those games up front. We have a lot of money, so we are going to be using it in the next episode. So thank you so much for tuning into this episode. As always, if there's anyone you would like us to try and sign, leave in the comments below. Any tips, tricks or anything like that, leave in the comments below. As always, I've been Morgs, you guys have been awesome and I will see you guys later. Peace. Good Out. Guy,